What's up guys, it's Diamond V Creeper, and today, for this video, as you know, you can see the, uh, the screen that it's, uh, that I'm on Steam. What we're going to be doing today, is we're going to make a tutorial, I'm going to make a tutorial video on a different one. It's not about uh, building trains, as, as you know. For this tutorial video, we're going to, we're going to, how to fix Train Simulator Classic. There are a lot of issues has been happened to this game, like for example, uh, you are playing Train Simulator and then uh, you are on the loading screen before you get to the main menu, but then it just immediately crashed for no reason. And there's a lot of been uh, like uh, strangely happened to the game, and you don't know how to fix it. There are three ways to fix it. Fix number one. You were playing Train Simulator, and you were waiting until the loading screen just ended until you re reached the main menu. But then it immediately just crashed. And you don't know how to fix it, and there is a way to fix it. Fix number two. You wanted to custom a freight train, but when you uh, reach it to the, uh, to the loading screen, it just freezes. You can't get. Uh, you can't exit the game. You cannot uh, uh, open a task manager to exit the game. You cannot open any social media or any apps that you can. There is a way to fix it. And last but not least, fix number three: the disappearment of the route. You pick a locomotive, and you wanted to pick a route that you installed and you just bought, uh, bought it from the DLC. You have the DLC, but you don't see it on your screen. When you just update it and reinstall it and uh, or verify file uh, to game files or whatever you just did, but then you don't see it on your screen. There is a way to fix it. So first off, fix number one. Every time if you wanted to go uh, to uh, play the game, uh, play Train Simulator, and you waited on the loading screen. It just immediately crashed. There is a way to, f to fix this. First of all, open File Explorer. Then go all the way down to uh, to C. I don't know what uh, what is it called. And then you want to go to Program Files. Then you want to go to Steam. And then Steam Apps. Common. And then you want to have to find a railworks. Now this is not a, what the kind of railworks I have. It's actually uh, the real one is actually in here, so don't mind. Now this is gonna sound crazy, but I know like some people they uh, install the the mod, and they work so hard to um, to uh, to to install the reskins and some of the horns and mode mod and, and something like that but you have no choice uh, to fix it but you can actually re just re reinstall it like re like install the the mod that you did what you want to have to do is hold left click on the mouse and then select all these files all the way until you reach down to the end then after that, you have to right click and then click delete. Once you've deleted all these files, click uh, uh, close it, then go to, uh, go to Train Sim uh, Simulator Classic, right click on Train Simulator and then go to Properties, then go to f Local Files and then click verified of game files. Once you click it, you have to wait for a few seconds or a few hours or minutes. But it should be bringing back all the files. That's fix number one. Fix number two. You wanted to custom a, a freight train, but you were you're stuck on a, <coughs> on a on a loading screen. On your and your screen uh, just uh, freezes, 
you can't get out, you can't open a task manager, you cannot exit the game. There is a way to fix it. What do you want to go? Oh, what do you want to do? Is go to Train Simulator um, menu, and then scroll down until you you re until you see the DLC. Only this works if you have a DLC. Click Manage My DLC, and then you're gonna have to uncheck all these installations, the DLC that you just installed, and then you're going to have to recheck. Recheck it like reinstall it. Then after that, close DLC and then right click and then go to properties, then local files and then verified of game files. And that should be it. Now, that's fix number two. Finally, fix number three. You selected a, tr a locomotive and you want to select a route. The DLC uh, you you bought a DLC and you uh, updated the train sim uh, updated the game, but you don't see it on your screen. There is a way to fix it. What you want to do is to go in uh, uh, is is to launch Train Simulator. Once you reach to the main menu, you're gonna have to click Build. Then find the uh, the name of the route that you cannot find. For example, Rotone Pass. I don't. I I did install the DLC, but I don't see it in my uh, in my screen on Quick on Quick Drive routes selection. What you want to have to do is to click Open, then click this, then select it. Select it all, and then drag it here. Wait for a few seconds or a minute. All right. When it's uh, once it's uh, from the files, you want to have to close it. And then go back to Train Simulator. Click Main Menu. Then, and then click uh, quick, uh, quick game. Wait for five seconds. Then relaunch the game, uh, relaunch train simulator. All right, once you're back on the game, you're gonna have to go to drive and then you're gonna have to check once you're here go to quick drive and then go to route selection then you're gonna have to check and then there it is. And that's all that I have for in mind on how to, uh, on uh, three ways to fix train simulator. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this video and I really do hope this video helps you a lot. Then make sure to hit that like, uh, like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.